It's Tactical Reloads. We back at you back with another banger. And today, man, I'm really, I'm just out doing a little New Year shopping. You know what I'm saying? Nah, actually, I'm out buying a buffer spring for AR9 build. It's actually the last piece that I need for this AR9 build. I'm actually calling it El Doctor. You understand me? And, and it's going to follow a theme. Ladies and gentlemen, the theme is going to be every single gun I build will be something that deals with a doctor. You did. I uh, came down here to Carrollton, Georgia. It's about an hour west of Atlanta. Came down here to Carrollton, Georgia to a place called Barnes Store. And I fell upon this store maybe about seven, eight months ago. I was out looking for a lawnmower and I came all the way out here to the last Sears that, I mean, not Sears. Yeah. It's the last Sears. I came to the last Sears on the face of the planet. And I'm like, man, I ain't know. But anyway, and I stumbled upon the barn store. Um, so I came back out here to see if they got a buffer spring. I really need one that's highly damping. And if you know anything about uh, AR-9 builds, you know those AR-9 bolts are humongous chunks of metal. It's not like an AR-15 bolt. These are big old chunks of metal, man, and they slamming back, slamming back. So I even got a hydraulic buffer. But anyway, I'll show you guys that on another day. Let's head on there, hit a barn store, see what they got. As always, man, if guns are your thing, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and subscribe. Tell your partners, tell your friends, check the kids out. Also, make sure you hit that like button. It helps on the backside of things on the YouTube algorithm. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell. It'll keep you posted on whenever we post something new. That's going to be a no deal on that buffer spring head barn store, man. But I got word of another store called Gables. So I'm going to check that out. It's probably about, about 30 minutes from here. So I'll let you guys see that store once I get there. Yeah. All right, guys, we're at the second place for the day. This place is called Gables Sporting Goods, as you can see in the back. Cheer, Gables Sporting Goods. We are here on Fabron Road out in Douglas County, which is, again, probably about 30, 45 minutes outside of Atlanta. We're a little bit closer to Atlanta than the other spot. But let's go on there and see if they got what the kid need, man. I'm ready to get this bill done so we can get down to the country, make sure we get this thing test fired so I can go ahead and put this in the rotation, man. I'm hoping that this bill will be the accoutrement. You understand that? Would just be something extra to what I need in case I have to bug out real quick, man. So let's get inside. Let's see what they got. Once again, man, if guns are your thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you are aware of whenever we drop something new, man. Look at that. Oh, that was like that Nike jacket. You know, hey, man, what's happening? You did. Now, 
Well, I wasn't able to do too much filming in Gables, but I was able to get a AR-15 bench block. I got my buffer spring. So I can go ahead and complete that build, put that one in the books, go ahead and get started on that next one. That's the 6.5 Creedmoor. So I'll show you guys all the parts and stuff I get for that. But I'm so happy I got this one. This is a highly damp spring too. It was a little bit more expensive than what I would have normally paid for a buffer spring. This one was 20 bucks. Normally I would have probably paid about 10, 15 bucks, but it's highly damp and so it should help out some of that force coming back from that nine bolt in that PCC. So we'll see soon, guys. You already know we train more, and guess what? <laughs> we building more of these things too, man. Holler at your boys. We out.